WeBoost cell phone signal booster install video. I sped this up as much as I could so it could get the point across but not be too boring. So um, you start with the hardware for the mounting on the outside, mount the bracket, use the lock washers, make sure that everything's not going to come apart. The U-bolts work pretty nice for mounting this on the roof. I used my Unistrut system that holds my solar panels in place as a mounting bracket. So be sure to snug these down real good. It's a 10 millimeter wrench for those nuts. And then we're gonna put the antenna together. So when you put the antenna together, you're using Loctite on all the joints and making sure that nothing's going to come apart at all for you. Um, the cord here goes right down through the antenna stick. And I put all that right together and then add the Loctite afterwards. Here's the Loctite. Make sure to put that all over the threads so nothing's gonna wiggle loose while traveling. These boosters work while traveling or while stationary. They have them for your house, for your boat, for your truck, for your RV, cars, all applications. It'll boost the cell phone signal for any carrier and um, they're pretty handy. It's a one-time purchase. There's no monthly bill or anything and um, it, they work really well. So we get this installed with the nut, make sure you tighten everything fully using wrenches. I believe it was 22 millimeter for that. Now the exterior antenna is installed. We use an entry gland to get the cable inside and keep it watertight. It didn't have a seal, so I used through the roof. Make sure your cable is smaller than your drill bit. I drilled from the inside first to make sure it was in the spot I wanted it to come through. I put the cable through all the bushings and whatnot for the assembly of the entry gland and connect the cables. Add a little bit of through the roof and that'll uh, seal that up nice. I finished that with a couple of little self-tapping screws so that that'll hold it in place. It's not relying on just that caulk adhesive. I finished that up with zip tying the cables in place so they don't wiggle and rub. Leave a drip loop and continue with routing your cable inside. I skipped that part and just went to the inside installation part. Um, tried to keep it neat. I just pointed out there that it is labeled inside and outside antenna. So be sure you hook it up in the right direction. Once again, I'm using a little sticky things and zip ties to keep things neat and out of the way. The DC power cable also was installed there. Let me show you the route of the cable here. And we tested the signal before and after plugging it in, and there was a great improvement. Use Schoolie 5 coupon code for a 5% discount on WeBoost.com when purchasing your 